Are these the only options for choosing line colors and thickness? I don't think so. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how uh, you can add more colors and thickness for the lines to draw the plan. Let's learn, practice, and share. For drawing and designing a plan, we usually use different colors and different thickness for distinguish between the elements that we have on the plan. Because without these colors and thickness, it's uh, difficult to uh, read a plan or distinguish the um, difference between the elements. Beside the colors and thickness that ArchiCAD provide us, there's a way to add more items, more thickness for uh, drawing the plan. To do this, I'm going to uh, the option Element Attributes and uh, we have Pen and Colors. Here we can set different palettes for the different model views that we have for the design. For example, we could have different palettes for the structural plans or even for the site plans, which uh, the scale is a 1 to 500. But in general, we use architectural plan, which the scale is a 1 to 100. These are the basic colors and thicknesses of the lines that ArchiCAD library has. And if you want, you can modify them or add something new to this palette. For example, this one is the most used pen on the ArchiCAD and the color is completely black and the weight or the thickness is 0.13 millimeters. Also, this color has a different weights or thicknesses. Also here uh, is a little bit different for uh, different layers. Then we could change the uh, current weight. For example, here is 13. I can change it to 10 millimeter and uh, ArchiCAD will add it to the custom model view. So if I turn back to the architectural and selecting uh, the same pen, the weight will be the same. So basically on the custom, we have a custom palette for ourselves and we are customizing a palette to uh, design easier and faster uh, the way that we want. Then when we finish changing uh, this palette, we could store this palette as a new pen set with a different name, or we could override one of the existing pen sets, which I don't recommend to do that. So if you want to make something new, it's better to save it or store it with a new name. I also would like to add a new color for the pen. So I'm going to select an empty space, then I'm going to uh, select a color for it. For example, uh, something that we almost don't have in here, uh, maybe something like this or even lighter, or maybe add a, a little bit uh, green to this one. Uh, for example, this is fine. I'm going to hit OK. Then it will add to the new face that we selected. The next step is to add a weight to the line. So for example, I'm going to add 0.1 millimeter. And also here we could uh, add a description for this color and this uh, line, which for example, I'm going to add MT line pen. The MT is um, matte tutorials. So if this is the first time that you are watching my videos, don't forget to subscribe because there will be uh, many more videos and many more tutorials. Then I'm going to uh, hit OK. I'm going to select uh, the line tool and here uh, I have the new pen color at the bottom of the pen set. So we can see that the selected color has a thickness or weight that we given. Then uh, the description came as the name of uh, this color. So whenever I need to, for example, draw a line like this, which I made this uh, symbol empty in the previous video, I should draw it that way. <laughs> That's better. Okay, I uh, made this one, this custom line in the previous video. So if you want to know how did I do that, click on the card right up here and you will see that how did I make this custom line. Also, we could set the new color that we did to this line. 
Another thing that I want to mention is when you see uh, this plant, you cannot uh, distinguish between the line thicknesses. And uh, even if I zoomed in, uh, all the lines seem to have the same uh, thickness. To distinguish this uh, thickness on the Articat environment, you should right click here on an open space when there is no uh, object to select. Then here I'm going to select the true line weight. Then if I zoomed in in one part, you will see that these lines have different thicknesses. So when you print uh, this plan, uh, you can have these differences on the paper. To be honest, I uh, never use this style. I always um, put it without uh, thicknesses. And uh, I usually uh, use the different color for the walls. And uh, for example, I use textures or even colors to distinguish between the uh, other lines or other spaces. The last thing that I want to say about the pen set is when I go to the pen and colors, now this pen set is named as custom. And I want to store it as MT pen set. So from now on, we are working on uh, this pen set to draw or to modify the objects and plan elements. I'm going to hit store. Then I'm going to hit OK. And if I select the line, I'm having this pen set as uh, the default. So if you have more questions about uh, pen and colors, you can write it down on the comments. I'm going to read all of your comments and questions, and I'm going to answer them as soon as possible. Then if this is the first time that you are watching my tutorials, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if this uh, tutorial was useful for you, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.